So, guys, here you can see one more video has been came out the holistic web development. And like you know, in the holistic web development, and we started from our first language about the HTML. And in today's HTML video, I am telling about the links. If you don't know in the HTML what are links, so in today's video, your whole concept will be clear about it. So, your video start to end. And please like this video, share around, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to all the notifications or any future related videos about the HTML. So without taking a right and let's move computer screen let's do a coding with laughing. So guys, here you can see it. One more time we came about the holistic web development and in today's video I am telling you about the HTML links. If you don't know what are HTML links, so in today's video your whole concept will be clear about it. So let's get started without wasting any time. And let's know about our HTML links. Okay, so let's start. Links are found in nearly all web pages, okay? Links allow users to click their way from page to page. Way means that, like HTML links, means that hyperlinks. HTML links are hyperlinks, mean that you can click on a link and jump to another document. When you move the mouse over a link, the mouse arrow will turn into a little hand, okay? La note that a link does not have to be a text. A link can be image or any other HTML element, okay? HTML links and tags. The HTML A, A tag defines the hyperlink. Which tag? A tag. Let me tell you in, with uh, with the code. Okay, in the okay, it has the following syntax. This is a syntax of the here you can see it. The most important attribute of the A element is the href attribute, which means indicates the link's de destination. Means that when you define a A tag, and uh, in that A tag. You define a href and href attribute you write uh, you write your link destination okay in the case the link destination the link text is the part that we visible to the reader K clicking on the link text will send the reader to be specify url address for example this example shows how to create a link to uh, code with Ryan .com. okay let me show you sorry not code for Ryan, code with pk and here i am also giving code with pk and here i am also giving code with pk and when i copy it and when i so i am not copying it i am going my sublime and then i am removing this file like that and now i am making the file of the integral html in my documents okay yes so now when i make this file so what can i do here i write like html then enter then i am writing here hyperlinks Okay, now here I define a link. How to define a link? First of all, you write like A, then like this, and like this, and like this. So then you keep the space from here, then you write href. And in the href, what you can write here, in the href, you write your link. Uh, let me go on my Google and I'm writing here code with PK. So my channel has been come and then I open my channel and then I come to the home and I'm uh, I'm copying my channel link and when I copy my channel link I'm pasting here. Then in here I will like visit my channel visit code with pk. Okay. Pk now. Now save it. And now, when, where you save your file, I save my file in my documents. Here is my file. Now, let me open it. So, it is coming like visit.pk. Uh, visit uh, code.pk. And when you are going uh, to your, when your mouse is going to your uh, link, uh, it, it is coming like in the small hand. Okay, like this. Here you can see it. When your link, uh, when your mouse is going to your link, so it is, uh, it is built the small hand. And when you click on this link, you will directly on go, go, on, go to on my channel. Here you can see it. You directly go to onto my channel and then when you click it from here you are going to directly you are going to my channel here you can see it like that or in the href you will be also page your youtube channel or anything now by default links will appear as follows in all browsers first an unvisited link is underlined and blue number two a visited link is underlined and purple okay my underlined and purple here you can see this is a this is the visit, uh, visited link. An active link is underlined and red. Tip. Links can, of course, be styled with CSS to get another look. Okay. It will be styled. HTML links. In the HTML link, there are the target attribute. 
by default the link page will display in the current browser window to change this uh, you must specify another target for the link first the target attribute is specified where to open the link document number two the target attribute can have one of the following values uh, underscore self it default it opens the document in the same window or tab as it was click number two blank underscore blank it opens the document in a new window or tab then underscore parent it opens the document in the parent frame now at the underscore top it opens the document in full body of the window for example uh, in the example we are using the target blank to open the link document in a new browser window or tab let me show you so what can i do here i am only writing here target should be blank now when we rate it save it and then i'm going here and run it so you are thinking there is uh, the nothing has been do here okay but let me show you when you click it so it will be opening in the new browser in the new tab here you can see it but when you do not write your target should be blank so it will be open it like this sorry uh, sorry i am not save it from here save it and run it so now click it so it will opening like this but when you write here target should be blank target should be blank and then save it and then run it and when you open it so it will be opening in the new tab here you can see like this like that you can do it absolute urls versus relative urls both examples above are using an absolute url a full web address in the href attribute a local link a link to page within the same website is specified with a relative URL without the HTTPS uh, semicolon slash slash www part. This is one example. This is called the absolute URL. Okay, let me copy it and let me paste it here. Okay, here you will be write like uh, my channel link. Okay, I'm writing my channel link. And here I'm writing like with they have google okay and this is the html images so when i save it and run it so it will come like uh, uh, images okay absolute urls when i click code with pk so you will be come on my channel and then when you click google so you will come onto the google and when you click html images you will come onto the html images css tutorial so you will become the css tutorial okay but i do not have any that type of images so that's why it is not opening but whenever I write here like uh, when I go on my unsplash and when I go on my unsplash and when I write here HTML and when I open it so this type of uh, picture has been came and when I copy this picture okay like this and when I copy this picture and when I paste it now save it and now come here and refresh and when I open it so it has open it here you can see like that so like that you can do it minimize it HTML links use an image as a link to use an image as a link, just put the image tag inside the a tag. Like this, here you can see it. Link to an email address. Okay, this is the example. Let me show you how to run it. Copy it and then come here and then paste it. Save it and then run it. HTML tutorial, so then you come here. Okay, but this type of link has been not provided, so that's why it is coming like this. Now, let's uh, come here. Link to an email address. Use the ma mail to inside the HTTP attribute to create a link that opens the user emails program to let them send a new file like this. Copy it and let's come over it here and then paste it like this. And then save it and then run it. Send email, click on the send email. So it will come, come on to the email. Here you can see it. send email. So you come on to the email. Send email. Here you can see it. The email has been opened like that. Now let's come on it here. Button as a link. To use the button as a link, and, uh, you have to add some JavaScript uh, code. JavaScript allows you to specify what happens at certain events such as click of a button like this. This is one example here you can see. It. Let me copy it and let me paste it from here. Save it and run it. So as similar to here you can see it. This button has been opening. Here you can see it. When I uh, give the button name, it will be like code with pk. Code with pk and when here i am writing like my channel and when i writing my channel link like code with pk and when i open my channel and when i come here and when i paste this link here and when i save it and when i run it 
Now when I click on this code, P get PK button, so it will directly go on my channel. Here you can see it like that. Now, la tip: Learn more about JavaScript in our JavaScript tutorial. Because okay, so link titles. The title attribute is specify extra information about an element. The information is most often as a tooltip text. The mouse uh, mouse moves over the element. Okay. More on absolute URLs and relative URLs. Use a full URL to link to a web page. Okay, we are also use the full URL to link the web page, and we have already do it. Now, link to a page located in the HTML folder on the current website. Okay, uh, uh, like that you can do it. So you can read more about the file path in our chapter of file uh, file path chapter from summary. First. Use the a element to define a link. Uh, we I have told you that. Then I told you that use the href attribute to define the link address. Number three, I told you about the target attribute to define the where to open the link document. Number four, the use the image element inside the a to use an image as a link. Then number five, use the mail to uh, scheme inside the href attribute to create a link that opens the user email program. We learn these five six uh, learn five chap uh, so chap five. Sorry, five things in this video. So I hope you enjoy this class. In today's video, I told you about the HTML links. So if you enjoy this class, so please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to all the notification bell also. And I will show any future related videos about the HTML. So I meet you next class. Next video, I am making like a data about videos. So for today, goodbye.